This is Radio 2 on 1500 metres and VHF. Last night marked the end of an era when Reginald Dixon, MBE, retired from the position he has held for 40 years as the principal organist of the Tower Ballroom in Blackpool. To mark the occasion, a concert was given, and we're about to hear now a recording of the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we say goodbye to a man who's become a legend in his own lifetime. And here he is, Mr. Blackpool himself, Reginald Dixon. Thank you very much, and hello everybody. The last time I spoke to you from the Tower Ballroom stage was last September. The weeks have simply flown, and now we've arrived at our final meeting over the air from Blackpool. Many have written asking for requests. Thank you, thank you so much for your letters. I, I know you'll realize it would be impossible to include all you've asked for. So, I put in this program those for which I receive most requests, and some nostalgic tunes, which have for myself and family special significance. An old popular ballad, I Kiss Your Hand, Madame, brings back memories for me and my wife, Vera. We bought the record of this song by Jack Hilden and his band, for whom I always had great regard. When his band came to the Tower Ballroom in Blackpool, it was an occasion. No empty seats. And uh, Vera still remembers the exact spot where, exact spot where I, I popped the question in the ballroom nearly 41 years ago. Then, after the ballads, another old rousing favourite, the Stein song. <laughs>
Thank you very much indeed, Reg. And uh, now it's time for me to hand over to your host for the rest of the evening. And it's someone else who is very well known to Blackpool audiences. Ladies and gentlemen, Vince Hill. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's nice to be back. You know, Reg, all this reminds me of the good news and the bad news jokes. <laughs> when my agent told me I was doing this show, I thought, that's good news. Then he told me it was to be your farewell show, and I thought, that's bad news. Of course, for me, it's a, well, it's a familiar scene, too, because Reg and myself, we did a series here together when I was doing Summer Season, and we didn't have an orchestra then, just a trio. But on this occasion, it's below the expense. And quite right, too, I tell you. We've got the whole of the NDO, augmented, no less. They can't touch you for it, can they? Look at them. Look at them there in all their glory. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't they'll get carried away if you carry on like that. And uh, never a one to look a gift horse in the mouth, of course, as they say. I shall now get proceedings underway by singing my latest record. And if you feel that you recognize the tune from somewhere, well, don't be surprised. Because it started life as part of Tannhauser by Wagner. You could say, out of Tannhauser by Wagner. But it's now called, Don't Speak of Love. Life never seems to get you down You always seem so full of fun Never feel alone Don't need anyone I always have to think of you I need to know how much you care Wonder where you are Always need you here I'd stop you being free Try to tie you down Make you stay with me I only want you as you are I'd never stop you being you Don't want you to change All I want is you Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Just before we bring Reg back, let's hear from Bernard Herman and the NDO. They're going to play Isn't This a Lovely Day?
Time now to welcome back the man you've all come to see. The man whose name is synonymous with this seaside town, who has become as much a part of it as the tower. Yes, Mr. Blackpool, Reginald Dixon. I didn't say good evening to you when you came on, when you came on before, but it's very difficult for me to keep going off the stage and coming back in. It is a long walk, isn't it? Yes, I do. <laughs> there, there is so much to do, but it's really nice for you to come back and be with us. Thank Reg, it's nice much. to be here, and it's a privilege and a, a marvellous thing for me to have been asked, and I thank you for it. Thank, thank you. you. Right. <laughs> and now, for many years, maybe 18 or 19, I forget the exact number, I used to open up with my familiar signature tune at 10 o'clock in the morning. And at this stage in the programme, I played you a group, usually of three contrasting styles. So, carrying on with the, idea, the same idea, here's the famous Hungarian dance called Chardas by Monty, then an appropriate Easter offering with the intermezzo from Cavalleria Rusticana, and lastly in the group, a rhythmic medley of Evergreen starting with Toot toot tootsie, whispering, and lastly, happy days are here again, which incidentally was the first tune I played for dancing in this ballroom in March 1930. So here, first of all, is the Chardas by Monty.
Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, well, it's in a way yet, because we want more, much more. On this very special occasion, it's needless to say that Reg has already had two presentations made to him from the Tower Company right here and, of course, from EMI Records. And, you know, we thought it wouldn't be right for a man who's been broadcasting, well, for nearly 40 years. In fact, his first broadcast was on June the 6th, 1930, uh, to leave without some small token being presented to him by us. And so to mark the occasion, and to do that very thing, we have another organist here tonight of not some little repute, I may say. Ladies and gentlemen, the compere of the radio series The Organist Entertains, Mr. Robin Richmond. And I know he's sitting down there somewhere. Robin, where are you? It's rather a long walk for him to come. I don't know whether you can get round there, Robin. No! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, sit down. Now sit down, yes. Sit down. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, may I say as a fellow organist, today marks the end of an era. And roughly, to paraphrase Arthur Sullivan's last chord, here we are, almost at Reginald Dixon's last chord. And seated this day at the organ, he's certainly neither weary nor ill at ease. And even in retirement, Reg, we hope that your fingers will still sometimes wander over the ivory Thank keys. You With your... With your unique personality and artistry, you've delighted not only your millions of fans who do like to be beside the seaside, but also your millions of radio fans all over the world. So, oh, oh dear. It's all right, it's nice. All right, it's going all right, it's going all right, Robin. It's going down very well. It's going all right. So, on behalf of the BBC and our special program, The Organist Entertains, I have great personal pleasure and honour in presenting you with this symbolic replica of your famous Tower Ballroom well, Wurlitzer. Really As a lasting mark of our gratitude for all the happiness you've given and of the affection we all feel and will always feel for the one and only Reginald Dixon. the listeners at home in case they wondered why Robin Richmond was so <laughs> breathless it's because he had to run from the back of this massive auditorium here to make the presentation to Reg thank you Robin thank you Reg and now for my oh. for my next song uh, I've chosen uh, one from an album I did of uh, Rogers and Hammerstein songs and it's called no other love Oh, 
arms I'll fly Locked in your arms I'll stay Waiting to hear you say Thank you so much. Time to bring back our man of the moment again now. The man to whom the world has beckoned on many occasions through his long career, but he, he didn't leave us. In his own words, he says, I belong here in Blackpool. I can't imagine myself anywhere else. And we're glad he thinks that way. Because although this may be his farewell show from the tower, it won't be his farewell to Blackpool. I have a feeling his friendly face will be seen a lot around here for a long time yet. Ladies and gentlemen, Reg Dixon. And so now we go from the evergreens to a theme from a film called While I Live. Many of you won't remember the film, but I know that the theme is very much in your minds, as quite a number of you have asked for it. It's the dream of Alwyn. the seaside, I'm sure Reg Dixon will forgive this interruption as I call up all shipping, especially in sea areas Rockhall, Hebrides, Bailey and Faroes. The Met Office issued the following gale warning to shipping at 0830 BST today, the 30th of March. Bailey, northeast severe gale 9, increasing storm 10 imminent. Faroes, northeast gale 8, increasing storm 10 imminent. Rockhall, Northwest severe gale 9, veering north severe gale 9 imminent. And Hebrides, northeast gale 8, increasing severe gale 9 imminent. That's the end of the gale warning.
Thank you. We're getting near the end of the concert now, so let's have one more solo item from Reg at this stage, and here he is to introduce it. Thank you very much. Uh, I was glancing over some old scripts with my announcements for broadcast over the last few years, and I came across this one. It was dated the 5th of September, 1967, and it goes like this. I'm playing the next item in response to many requests. It's an imaginary scene of my own which takes place off the northwest coast of Scotland. The opening is cheerful with sailors, hornpipes and sea shanties. However, by the time we approach the Isle of Skye, the weather has deteriorated, as you'll hear. And that is when we find ourselves in the middle of a storm at sea. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you, Reg. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and now we come to the last part of our show. And how could we finish a Reg Dixon program without a sing-song? A sing-song like Reg has been playing through a career spanning nearly 40 years at the Tower. A career with, certainly with its ups and downs, well, one of the ups must have been when he received the MBE for services to music and then there were doubts at one time of whether he would play again after an operation on his hand. A career in which he has played for and worked with the best from the great Richard Tauber to Kathleen Ferrier, Isabel Bailey, comedians like George Formby, Laurel and Hardy and oh, so many, many more. Not to mention a very, very happy series we did together in 1968, if I may put our names among that illustrious list of stars. I think we might, don't you, Reg? Okay. <laughs> that was in the summer of uh, 1968 when I was here for a season and his series with Moira Anderson last summer, all the list is endless. Reg says, I shall never forget all those wonderful people and those happy days beside the seaside in Blackpool. Well, perhaps you won't, Reg, but we won't forget you either. So let's make this the most memorable sing-song of all. Here we go with the entire audience conducted by Bernard Herman and the mighty Wurlitzer under the control of our Reg.
Mr. Reg Dixon. gentlemen I can't tell you needless need I say what a great thrill what a great honor it has been for me to be on this program tonight and I've talked enough I think and this is the man you've all come to see it's his night so I'll just say thank you and good night on behalf of myself and all of you uh, rather and all of us and uh, leave the last words to the man himself Reg Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for that wonderful concert that you've given me tonight, the reception you've given me tonight. Vince, I, I, I was glad that Vince was able to come along. It's been really a great treat to have him because he was a wonderful fellow to work with two years ago. And uh, as we've all seen him many times, he's going from strength to strength and I, we all wish him the best of luck. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, thank you very much. I feel there are so many people to thank, but I, I, and I may miss some, but I, I hope you'll forgive me. I've already mentioned Vince, 
Uh, I'd like to mention uh, Bernard Herman and the NDO who have supported me with these sing songs for so many years. I mean, some of the fellows even join in with the songs, which is very, very nice, you know. But thank you, Bernard. <laughs> And to you, ladies and gentlemen, over the years as I've been here, I would like to thank you for your loyalty. It's been really wonderful. So all I can do now is to say, once again, good night to you all and God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sixty minutes, we've been saying goodbye to Mr. Blackstone. Appearing with Reginald Dixon were Vince Hill and the augmented BBC Northern Dance Orchestra conducted by Bernard Herman. The program, recorded in the Tower Ballroom Blackpool, was produced by Peter Philby. <laughs>at 7.45 in the series The Organist Entertains, Robin Richmond will include in his program recorded highlights from Reginald Dixon's farewell concert, which, as you know, was uh, um, recorded yesterday in the Tower Ballroom at Blackpool. The program is produced by Peter Pilbeam and edited by Chris Morgan. That's on Thursday evening at 7.45.